This is Pastor Byron from Life Point Church, Lexington, North Carolina. Well, we've almost closed out one of the most turbulent years in America. I've not met one person who's not looking forward to 2021. Words of Solomon come to my mind in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There's an opportune time to do things, a right time for everything on the earth, a right time for birth, another for death, a right time to plant, another to reap, a right time to kill, another to heal, a right time to destroy, another to construct. A right time to cry, another to laugh. A right time to lament, another to cheer. A right time to love, a right time to embrace, another to part. A right time to search, another to count your losses. A right time to hold on, Another time to let go. A right time to rip out. Another to mend. A right time to be quiet. A right time to speak up. A right time to love. Another to hate. A right time to wage war. And another to make peace. Solomon is telling us that God has a plan for all of us and a cycle for everything in accordance with his perfect will. What is your purpose in the world? Paul said in Romans 14, if we live, we live to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. Paul is writing to believers. He's saying if we belong to God, then we have an obligation. We have an obligation to serve him. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? Whom you have received? from God. Therefore, honor God with your body. Our lives are not our own. They do not belong to us. As a believer, we belong to God. What is your purpose? Our purpose is to know God through his son, Jesus Christ, and live for him. Do you know him? Do you know him as Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Are you living for him? Your primary purpose here is not to be successful, not to have a wonderful career, but to serve God. How are you serving God with the talents he's given to you? How are you serving God in the church with the spiritual gifts that he has given you? Are you following God's plan for your life? I want to close out this devotional for 2020 with this passage of scripture. Paul is writing to the church at Ephesus. He said, don't waste your time on useless work. Just being busy. Wake up from your sleep. Climb out of your coffin. Christ will show you the light. So watch your step. Use your head. 
Make the most of every chance you get, he said. These are desperate times. Don't live carelessly, unthinkingly. Make sure you understand what your master wants. Don't drink too much wine. That cheapens your life. Drink the spirit of God. Sing songs of praises to God. Sing praises to his holy name, our Father. I pray as we go into 2021 for a great healing in America and a great revival. Thank you for what you're going to do in this coming year. Amen.